Putting hogs on the mind, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cutty, black with the purple Ravens strip. fam. So, Bills, Baltimore. Um. I'm just going to go right out the back and say I'm with Marcus Peters. I stand with Marcus Peters. Hashtag, I'm with Marcus Peters. He had every right to be mad. If he was yelling at Harbs, I 100% agree with him. If he was yelling with Mike McDaniel, McDonald had a form, yeah, yeah, oh, I'm with him as well on that. Because it's like... Someone said in my chat, first half, they, the, the, the teams are like, okay, what's this defense, Mike McDonald defense is about? Second half, okay, we got college. It's just like college. Let's continue on. And it's just ridiculous. I'm, I'm going to be everywhere with this video because so many thoughts in my head right now. I don't even know where to start. Because it all went bad. Let me let me turn my head backwards on this. Okay. So Owe. I'm like, okay, Owe got a fumble. A forced fumble. I'm like, he, here we go. Owe. That light bulb might have finally went off. We finally found them. No, no. No. He had a sack. It was looked like it was an accidental sack. Because he was already on the ground. Then he could have had another sack, could have saved it. No, missed him. Oh, could have stopped the running back. Oh no, miss. He had so many missed tackles. I don't if they I don't know the website to keep track of that, but I know he's up there. PQ, Stone Hands PQ. Last week I'm like, okay, you know. This week I'm like. Really? Like, really? Let, let, let's get into some of the stats while I'm ranting. So, let's... Okay, so, we looking at Lamar Jackson, 144 yards. Okay, and we see the one TD. I'm like, cool. Okay, average, it was raining. I'm not tripping on that. Okay, then you see the two TD. I mean, two interceptions. One, I'm like, it happened. It was all Lamar fault. Fault when he threw it, it was real low where it was easily, you know, deflectable. It looked like he was actually going to hit a helmet. That's what it looked like. But on that last one, he has no business. It was like fourth and goal, close to the end of the game. Just take a field goal. Hobbs' ego is a poison to this franchise since Ray left. The franchise has not been the same since Ray left. Literally went on losing streaks. Went, what, two, three years without the playoffs. Then Lamar steps in and saves the day. But Harv's ego is slowing Lamar down. And it's ridiculous. You have. You go back to the Dolphins game. And you sit there and like, man, we went for it twice, if I'm correct. On fourth down, could have got a field goal. Three points each, total six points. And you waste away those points. And you're like, that's not going to happen again. For it to happen again two weeks later. At home once again. Instead of getting a simple goat of a kicker, Justin Tucker out there, to kick the three points, to put 23, to make it say 23 on the board, you say, no, 
That's too that's too simple. This is the Ravens. This is the Harbors Ravens. We don't do things simple. We do things that doesn't make sense. Because I'm a special teams guy. And you sit there and lose by three points. It's like you can't make this up. You can't hit a reset button. Then you see, always stops the touchdown from happening. And you see Calais Campbell's upset. You see MP Juice Man is upset because of the lack of leadership and guidance this team has. They literally showed it to the national television. But you know what's going to happen? Nothing. I know some people, it's still early. This has been happening for years. I look at a great, phenomenal, phenomenal coach like Mike Tomlin. You don't see these type of hiccups really with him. He lose his star players. He coaches other guys up, and they still make the playoffs. Harps? Oh, no. We're not making nothing unless Lamar is out there. I know we've said last year with all the injuries and stuff, but mm -mm. I know people, well, you know, lost about three points, six points. A, a L is a L. And Harbs is serving it to the team. It's no excuse. I wonder what he's going to say in this conference of, why he just didn't take the field goal? Is it going to be analytics? Is it going to be, oh, I believe we just had a great chance? It's going to be something that he's already said in the past because he just copied and pasted. Anyway, let's get back to the stats. Okay. Lamar Jackson, 11 carries, 73 yards. Justice Hill, 8 carries, 45 yards. J.K. Dobbins, 13 carries. For the running game, awesome. And that... After halftime, that second, that first drive we got at the, the halftime, in the second half, the first drive is, was not one rushing play. Why? When a run game was working, why? Doesn't make sense. Catching. Devin DuVernay. That, that. Madden type of glit, blit, whatever that was that Devin caught where Mark Andrews popped it up, that was awesome. That was awesome. J.K. Dobbs was doing his receiving thing. Bateman got injured. Bateman had some drops. But I don't know if it was a rain or not, but after he redeemed himself, I do say that. He redeemed himself after he took, uh, uh, after he did that one drive, he redeemed himself with that first down catch. But, man, like I said, I'm just, oh, man, y'all. This, and this is, like, right after the game. I don't. You see they had to hold Marcus Peters back. And I'm with him. I'm with him. Hobbs is going to make up something. And he better not try to discipline this man. Because they are out there on the field giving their all. And you sit there and make this type of coach. That's what happened with Pete Carroll out there in, uh, with the Seahawks. Them boys busted their butt on that defense for that championship. You had the championship in hand back to back, which is extremely hard. And you don't want to give it to Marshawn Lynch on that one yard because of your ego? You're going to sit there and try to pass it because you have a gripe about Marshawn Lynch? And they haven't been the same since. That's the same type, not to that level, but that's the same type of mess that the Ravens continue having. Because of Hobbs' ego. It just comes down to his ego. Just get, how hard is it to just get the points while you can? 
It doesn't say you have to go for it in four. If they would have sat there and got them points, we should probably would still be watching the game right now. Because all the defense will be doing is trying to prevent them from getting a touchdown. So the game can continue on. How difficult is that? Ridiculous, man. Ridiculous. But let's get let's get back to these stats, man. Look at Odafi Owe leading the team in tackles. But he also is leading the team in missed tackles. It don't show the stat, but the people that watch this game knows it. Chuck Clark. He got dusted on one play too by the tight end. It was so bad where Marcus Peters had to leave Diggs try to recover what he saw in his peripheral vision. But it really, it, it ain't even really no stats to look at, man. And you can just look, 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 look at this. Look at this. 14, 6. Field goes. Field goes. Then it went blank. I don't understand it, man. I'm like, I know Hawes is gonna I know Hawes is gonna kick this field goal. I know it. Don't go for it. And you see Marcus. Boy, Marcus Peters is heated. And I'm with him. I know so many people with Marcus Peters. I know so many people is with him. Cause that is no excuse. Hold on, matter of fact, I'm finna do something new. I am finna do something. I am finna do something new. Hold on. Let me let me put this. Hold on. Let me turn this up. Okay. Here's the excuse of why he did not kick the field goal. You're finna get my live reaction of this mess. Because that's what it is. It's 100 percent mess. Now, before I hit play, either uh okay, he's gonna say. I feel like this was the best decision for the game. Um, the analytics. Uh, I think, let me see, what, what other excuse he comes up with? That's all I can think of. That's all I can think of. So let's, let's, let's see what he says. Well, I, I felt like it gave us the best chance to win the game because seven, the worst that happens is if they go down the field and score, and I think we'll get them stopped. But if they go down the field and score a touchdown, the worst thing that happen is that you're in overtime. But you kick a field goal there, now it's not a three-down game anymore. It's a four-down game. You're, you're putting them out there. You're putting your defense at a disadvantage because they've got four downs to convert all the way down the field. And a chance to pause it. Pause it. Pause it. He just said the defense four down. It's going to be four any way it goes. It was going to be four any way it goes. Even if you did kick the field, you can tell by his body language. He's like, man, that was a stupid idea that I just did. Continue on. Seven, and then you you lose the game on a touchdown. So, and then the worst. I would rather lose a game on a touchdown than lose a game on a field goal that you could have did. Continue on. I think the other thing you think you're going to get the ball at the two-yard line. So, I'm very confident in our defense. Defense's ability to stop him down there with the ball on the two-yard line. So, we got him backed up. If we don't get it, it didn't turn out that way. Unfortunately, and we lost the game. So I he said we was gonna get the, the ball back on the two yard line. Somebody fire this man! I, I could, somebody fire this man! Insight, you could take the points, but if you look at it analytically, I understand and why we did it. Then I say analytic. Then I say analytic. A person that never played in the NFL just said analytic. Even a good coach knows and a leader seen all of that. Well, I, I felt. <sighs> I'm going to end this with that. All right, that's, I'm, I'm done. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Hit the like. Hit subscribe. Hit the share. This is who we got to deal with for the next couple of years because he's not getting fired. Everybody stay safe. God bless.